Hello and welcome to Home Cook in Spain. Today I'm going to be cooking some Galician style crips. So let's begin. Okay, so I've been meaning to do this for quite a while. So here we go. Right, for the... I'm going to be making about... Because I'm using a large frying pan, this is a 30 centimetre one. About 15 to 18 are going to come up, you know, are going to come out. So we'll start off by cracking three eggs. Obviously, if you want to make more, you just double up on the eggs um, and the flour and the water, obviously. Right, so the three eggs are there. Um, so I'm going to beat them up. I'm going to be doing my first live recording. I'm going to be just going to be making these, I think. I still haven't tested out the live feature. So I think making these will be all right. We'll see. Right. So there, that's that. Then we're going to add the flour. We're going to add one teaspoon of salt and we're going to add half a litre of water. Usually the typical ones in Galicia, they don't use water. Well, some people do if they haven't got the broth, but usually you use broth after you've, you've boiled, you know, meat and vegetables. Well, you use that broth to make this instead of just using water from the tap. So this has to be all nicely mixed in until there's no, you know, these bits. This will take a while if you use it, if you're doing it this way with a fork. But I'm going to do, use a one of these machines. One of these. So I'll see you back once this is all nice and smooth. Right, so I'm back. So as you can see, this is all nice and smooth, nice and watery, which is just how I wanted it to be. So next, um, now we'll move on to the next step, which will be to sort my working space out. Right, so I'll put my 30 centimetre pan there. I'll put this on here, not too close. This is plastic, it'll probably melt. And see, this is nice and smooth. Now this I'll be stirring it every now and then while I make the, the um, oh, what they're called, the crips or fijoas in Spanish. Right, so I'm going to get a plate put up there and I'm going to get some butter out. Butter, not margarine. Um, usually you use, um, oh, what's it called? It's like bacon, lard. Lard, usually a lump of lard. But because I haven't got lard, I like to use butter. The reason is, let's see. I'm going to cut a bit of butter out here. Like that, and usually the lard, in this case the butter, will stab it like this. The fork, I will keep it like this all the time. Let me just close this up. If you haven't got um, the lard, you can use the butter 
or you can even use um, oil, just normal oil, sunflower oil, vegetable oil. I've tried doing it that way, but I prefer using the butter. Right, so this I'm going to turn it up. I'm going to, in my case, I'm going to turn it up because I know, because I've done it so many times. I'm going to turn it up to number eight, and this goes up to number nine, but I'll turn it up to number eight, and just let let the pan heat up. Right, so once the frying pan seems hot, let's see. Oops, it's a message. My darling wife's on her way back. Another one. We'll spread some of this um, butter over it. We'll just wait for that to heat up. Also, the first um, two or three of these crepes that you make, they might turn out a bit funny. That's until you get the hang of it. You know, the hang of the of how hot you need your stove. But well, you'll do it. You'll get there. It's worth the the trouble, believe me. Also, these crepes, we eat them, we just roll them and just eat them like that. Nothing on them, you know. But you can maybe stuff them, I don't know, with some ham or cheese or bacon and just roll them up or whatever. We just eat them as they are. I'm just going to get a plate ready because as they start doing, once they're done, I'll put them, I'll put each one on here. And they will last, you know, if you cover them up, they'll last for about three days, four days. Right, so now I'm just using not a full ladle. That's because I've got mine already calculated and I want to um, basically do this so they're nice and thin and spread all around and there's it won't you know so you can do that basically and it won't fall anywhere and we'll just leave it on there I know this is this is a weird video this is why I've been putting it off for so long it's hard to it's hard to do so basically what we want to do is wait before turning it over before knowing when to turn it over is wait until all the edges have curled up and basically when you do that it slides about so we'll wait for that also usually in Galicia they have a special stove to make these because to make each one, it takes about five minutes. And they have a special stove where they can put like two, three, four frying pans. You can do it on here. You know, you can use the other rings. That will be quicker. But I just like to do them like this and, well, I'm stuck for words. Right, so as you can see, the edges have curled up, and also, you can do this with it. So what we do is just, we turn it over, and just leave it there for a couple of minutes until the other side is browned like this. You've seen that I use my fingers to do, to do this, well this is how you, this is the way that they do it in Galicia. I don't think, maybe you can use, I don't know, some of these, if you're scared. Well, I don't know, I think it will break using these because they're so thin. Anyway, you can try that out yourself. But I'm used to it and basically it doesn't really burn you. Just be quick. <laughs> so, after a couple of minutes, See how, how it doesn't stick at all. Basically, that's the result. We'll just take them out 
and put them on the plate. And this is a bit crispy, but it'll go soft. And let's see the camera. Yeah. Basically, what we do is do it again all over as we did at the start and keep doing that until all that I don't know if you can see it oh this is so bloody hard that's better I think so basically until this all this has been used so it's smoking so So there we are, all over again, the same, the same thing. So I'm going to do all these. It'll take a while because it takes about five minutes to do each one. That's why usually they use two or three frying pans at the same time. And luckily my wife is not here because she'd be eating these as soon as they come out of the frying pan and this will be empty by the time I finish with the mix. So I'm going to do all these. Um, I think I've told you everything more or less. I'll be doing a live video soon, I hope. Because I've never done one before. Um, and I'll be making these. So if you want to watch it, stay tuned. So... I'll be back in a minute, well in a minute, about an hour. By the way, did I mention these you, you leave them to cool down and then you eat them cold? I just thought I'd mention that. You can eat them hot, but they are usually eaten cold. Well, so I've reached the end. This is the last one. And um, this happens when you're impatient. You know, I want to turn it. I would just, I'm, I just want to finish. So I've been here for over an hour. I just want to finish and relax. Well, so I finished, and here's the result. Look at all these. It's got to be about 20, at least 20. Look, beautiful. So basically now we just roll them like that. And yum, 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 eat them. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed today's recipe video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And see you soon. Cheers.